Hi there, uh, today I wanted to show you uh, Shalex's Seal It Multipurpose and how to apply Seal It Multipurpose. This is a clear waterproofing membrane. Um, it's like a liquid rubber. It's designed to work on porous surfaces and the idea is that it penetrates into the surface, uh, binds up all of the, the loose pores um, and will uh, provide uh, a barrier against uh, any water going through there. Um, the application process is quite important. Um, we've had a number of, peop number of people ask uh, how to apply the product properly. I just wanted to do a, a quick demonstration today to show you how the product is applied and you can see how easy it, uh, it is to apply. But uh, just before we do that, I wanted to show you, that's a cardboard box that um, I've applied the, the product to. Um, we've done two coats uh, on the inside. And while I'm doing the demonstration, uh, I'll just whack some water in that uh, to show you how effective the product is. Because uh, we do have uh, a number of uses for the product and one is actually sealing leaking concrete water tanks. So this will demonstrate for you uh, that it will withstand hydrostatic pressure and it's why the product is suitable for single leaf brickwork because it is able to withstand hydrostatic pressure. It basically forms a film or a skin on your, on your uh, brickwork and stops uh, wind driven rain driving through. A lot of the water repellents are totally ineffective at, at doing that, especially when you get movement in your masonry joints or your mortar joints because it won't bridge that gap. This is a very soft, flexible product and it will bridge that gap. So it comes in a number of sizes. Uh, I'm using gloves and I recommend anyone else uses gloves as well because it, uh, even though it's a water-based product it's uh, very very hard to get off uh, and it's a little bit sticky so just uh, even food preparation gloves or, or something so that you don't have to spend uh, ages scrubbing your hands afterwards. Now the, the first coat um, rather than shake the product you just need to uh, give it a bit of a mix so that it's all well um, well dispersed. Now. I'm just using a, a little sprayer here to demonstrate for you. Now normally the, the best method of, of applying the product is to use something like a weed spray. I mean this is a larger one, I'm actually, it's got weed spray in it. You can see it's got two nozzles, it allows you to direct it in different directions and you can keep a, a nice constant stream on the surface. So this is the method uh, for application that we recommend. But today I'll be demonstrating with a smaller version to show you uh, uh, in a smaller space here. Um, okay, so what I'd recommend, this has got some water in it, you put some water in your, in your sprayer, give it a bit of a pump and you basically need to set your nozzle to a nice even spray. What this also does is it gives you water through the lines which makes it easier to wash out afterwards. Okay, so that's a nice even spray pattern, maybe just a little bit more, alright. We'll release the pressure and uh, I'll get rid of that water. So really what we need is we need equivalent amounts. So the first coat is 50-50. So we'll fill that up to there. We seal it. Tip that in. Same amount of water. Tip that in. and we'll whack our sprayer lid back on. Now the idea is you've got to keep a constant pressure. So it is an idea to keep lots of pressure in there. You don't want dribbles and runs. You really want a fine stream. You're not trying to atomize it. You can use uh, airless spray equipment if you want, but the idea is not to create a mist. You, you want a nice even stream across the surface. Now the most important thing is this primer coat or this soak in mix. Um, if you're applying the product directly to the surface, it's going to sit on there like a skin. The reason we dilute it is because you want it to penetrate deep into the masonry. So I'll show you first on a, uh, on a cardboard box. I've also got some examples of brick here, um, different types and styles of bricks. We've got uh, the, uh, the concrete block and we've also got uh, split face or textured block. Um, this product is suitable for pretty much any uh, porous surface. But I just wanted to show you um, what you're trying to do. You can see that it started with water and then very quickly the, the white product came through. So I'm applying that almost too quickly. 
we've got runoff and what you're trying to do is you're trying to wet out the surface. You can see as the surface starts to wet, that white is slowly disappearing into the surface and that's what you want. The idea is to allow the brickwork to soak it in. Some brick um, or some masonry is really going to suck it in quite quickly and it's ready to spray again. Other bricks take a little bit longer. The idea is not to just blast it all on and leave it on the ground. In fact, we recommend that you mask paths and things like that. It is soft, so you don't want it all over your paths where you're walking on it. You really want it on your wall. So the idea, you can see that starting to take, take up and, and wet out the surface. The idea is to get a nice even texture. And you can see that there's little pieces here that I've missed. It'll take a while for the surface tension to be broken and for that to be absorbed into that whole area. So the idea is you let it soak in and while it is still wet, this is very important, while it's still wet, you need to give it another spray. And if it soaks it in, you give it another spray. So you're trying to totally saturate the brickwork. You're not trying to put it on like a paint. You're trying to get as much of it into the surface with as little runoff as you possibly can. Now the second coat is applied neat. I just wanted to show you how that might look over brickwork. You're obviously concerned that it's going on white. That allows you to see where you're going, but it will dry clear. So you can see how quickly this block has been wet out. It's quite easy where the product's been applied and very quickly that will start to disappear. We've got a, a brick which is a different colour. So you can see that uh, we've applied it to this surface here. It's actually quite a bit harder to see where you've been and it's important that you work in sections so that you know what has actually been done. There is a slight damp patch here, so you can tell where you've applied, but the idea is wet it up again. Now with different colored uh, bricks and blocks, you'll find it's a lot easier to see where you're working, but you can see that it's starting to disappear. Now, as I said, before it dries, it's important that you wet that up again. And you keep going through that process until it gets to the point where it doesn't want to suck in anymore. And once it's done that, you let it dry, it'll go clear, and then you come back and you do a neat coat. So that's straight from the bottle, straight into the sprayer. It really is that simple to apply the product. This will dry clear, and uh, it'll give you um, a, a waterproof membrane that's flexible, and uh, it's a very cost-effective way of uh, protecting your masonry, uh, stopping wind-driven rain driving through, uh, through brickwork. So, the other thing I wanted to just show you as well is that uh, the product is safe for potable water. This is the, uh, the cardboard box that I'd sealed before. It's uh, still fine and uh, obviously if it's being used for water tanks it has to be safe. And there's no way I'd be drinking that if it was uh, a dangerous product. So. There you have it, seal it multi-purpose. That's how you use it. It really is important that you follow those instructions. The first coat diluted 50-50, and the idea is not to blast it on. You really need to, to plan your work and take a little bit of time because that first coat is really important. You need to make sure that the area is totally wet out. Give it some time to draw into the surface. You can see that this is still taking its time, but on this red block, it's almost disappeared. So this is a more open texture, it needs some more product. You, you need to pass over that area at least two to three times while it's still wet. You don't start on one side, race around, finish the whole job and then try and start because if it skins, you won't get any more into the surface. So it really is important that while it's still wet, while it's still sucking, you use the capillary action to draw it into the surface. Now I wanted to uh, demonstrate over here and I'm hoping that uh, that this will show. This is a cardboard box that we've sprayed up before. Now we've done this just one very light coat and we just left that. So if I wet that up with a hose, hopefully what we'll see, which is a little bit hard because of the lighting conditions, but there's little sections that are darker and those little sections that are darker are areas where the 
the sealant hasn't penetrated in or it hasn't covered. So if I'd have done one light coat over the surface, I'd have a patchy section. Um, it's a little bit hard to see, but a patchy section means you've got holes, you've got no sealer, of course it can't do its job. This side, we've gone over that same area three times. And you can see the water beading here. There's no change in colour. And it's doing its job, it's protecting. So that's the difference, that's only, that's only the first primer coat, but that's with three passes over the same area. And that's with one pass. So if you're not waterproofing your walls effectively with seal it multi-purpose, it's probably because you're cutting corners and you're trying to spray it on and mist lightly and then move on. It's not the way to do it. As I showed you before, you need to wet the surface out allow that surface tension to be, uh, to be wet out so that the, the product starts to suck in and you keep applying the product while it will take it to the point of saturation, not so that you've got big sheets running off. But it is a very simple product to apply. It, it dries clear, it washes up in water. And uh, as I showed you drinking uh, just a little while ago from our uh, cardboard box example, it's, uh, it's safe, uh, safe to use for um, potable water. So perfect for things like repairing stock troughs, concrete water tanks, um, where less flexible products such as concrete compounds aren't going to do the job. Alright, that's about it for uh, our session today. Um, seal it multi-purpose comes in 1s, 5s and 15s and you can see how easy it is to apply. Um, you can get a trade contractor to do the job for you, but uh, really with uh, a little bit of care and planning uh, and a simple weed spray, which a lot of people do have around the house. Uh, you can apply the product yourself and you can seal your masonry, keep it looking good. And if it's uh, single leaf masonry, there's no cavity there, um, you can actually protect uh, the rain from driving through and wetting the inside of your, your brickwork. Thanks very much.